Hey everybody, it's Ben Clark from Queen City Clay and I've noticed that when we're teaching throwing, it is so difficult to understand the pulling part and if you don't ever get your clay centered properly or open properly, you're struggling with that the entire time and never really getting to the meat of the pole. So I wanna talk through recentering a lump of clay again after you open it up and show you some, some common problems you might hit up. So we'll get this thing spinning and get a good center. We always teach opening with your middle finger, or your right hand over here. When I drive in, if I don't put the hole in center and I start to pull back, I can get a wobble. Or if you dive in correctly, pull back and let go too quickly, you can also cause a big problem. And these are easy to fix, but they also make it so that you'll never get a good first pull if you don't take care of them right away. And even if you do everything perfect at the beginning, sometimes a rude studio mate screws up the pot for you. Thanks for that. Even this though is easy to fix as long as you know the proper hand positions. So I'm gonna use my centering palm like a wall, like I normally do. Putting that palm on the bat, leaning in with more pressure on the upper part of my palm than the lower part. And as I push in, it's going to settle down that outside wall but push our problems up and to the inside. So my right hand slides right beside my left palm and with these knuckles under my hand, I will press down on the rim and use my extended fingers to pull back into my palm. So I have an inside pressure, a downward pressure, and an outside pressure, all applied to the wall at the same time. And as I hold still, everything calms down, and I let go slowly, and I'm back in the game. As you're applying this pressure, it is all about feeling a compression between all three pressure points and watching to see what the clay is doing. If your inside hand pushes too much, it flares out. If your outside hand pushes too much, it drives in and closes the hole. So you need to make sure that all three pressures are compressing the clay into this tunnel you're making with your hand and your palm to keep it still. You don't want any one pressure to win, okay? You want to balance and your pressure is always applied slowly and released slowly. Once we have this perfect starting position, we can do our first pull. And remember, we're making sure that our starting position is perfect because the pulling is so difficult. You need to make sure you're giving yourself the best chance. But if something goes wrong on the way up and you catch it early, use that same principle to drive it back down, keeping pressure on the whole outside wall, the whole interior, as you bring it toward the bat. And you can give yourself a reset even if you screw up that first pull. If it gets too high and too thin, you have to come up with other solutions. But for that first pull, anything goes wrong, wrap those hands around the outside, inside, and rim and drive it right back down to a compressed starting point and go for that successful first pull again. Take your time and make sure you give yourself the best start possible. You'll have successful first pulls. Thanks for watching. Thanks for that.